Hello students, in this video, I am going to teach you a projection of straight line problem. This is this type is 1 problem. Okay, let me read this question. A straight line AB of 70 mm long is inclined at 30 degrees to horizontal plane and 45 degrees to vertical plane. The end A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of vertical plane. Draw the projection of the line. If you take any straight line problem, at least we can able to find 5 given data in the question. See, as you see here, a length of the line AB 70 millimeters. Okay. And the inclination of this AB line is given as 30 degrees to horizontal plane and 45 degrees to vertical plane. As well as the end point of A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of vertical plane. So, these are all the given data, right? So, with this, we will proceed now. The first step so is to draw a reference line like this, right? So, yes. So, this is your first reference line for an arbitrary distance. Let us name this line as x and y. And this is vertical plane projection and this is horizontal plane projection. Yes, now. So, we will solve the data one by one. So, listen, let me solve this first data. The point A is 10 mm above HP. So, let me take my scale here and place my scale like this at an angle of 90 degrees so that I can able to get a perpendicular distance from this x y. So, let us take this point and it is 10 mm above HP. So, I can locate a point here. It is of 10 mm. Similarly, it is 15 mm in front of the vertical plane. Yes, you see here. Yeah. Yes, you see here the next. After this, we solve the given data one by one. So, first let me take this point. The point A is 10 mm above HP. So, what we need to do above HP means see HP is located here, it is mentioned here, which means Above HP in the sense, it should be above XY line. Above this HP representation, you just remember that. If it is in front of the vertical plane in the sense, it should be here. Okay. If the inclination is given with respect to HP, we need to take in the above XY line. Similarly, you have to go with VP plane. Right then. So, we will solve this data one by one. So, first let me take this. A of point A is 10 mm above HP. Yes. So, taking my scale here, it is perpendicular to your x y line and placing it like this and measuring 10 mm of distance here that is 1 centimeters. Similarly, I am just placing my scale with the angle here for 15 mm, 15 mm and I am measuring 15 mm in my scale and placing a points here. Okay, taking the reference of these lines, I am going to draw a line that is that line is called as locus of my A and A dash lines. So, now I will proceed with those lines. Placing my protector parallel to your xy line and I am going to draw this locus lines like this. Yes. And similarly, at the point of this 15 mm here. Okay then. So, this is an locus of A dash line. Similarly, this is an locus of A line. Okay. It is at a distance of 10 millimeters and 15 millimeters respectively. So, you can mention the dimensions here. So, yes. we have solved two data in the given problem, right? So, now we will proceed with the next step. Next, next. So, so, next we will take an, an arbitrary line like this. In this x line, it should be perpendicular to your. Well. The, the next step is to draw a perpendicular line in the x-y line at, an, at this initial point of this line like this, the beginning of your x-y point, near to this point, okay. So, let us name this point as, this point as a dash and this point as a, okay. Now, we will proceed with the given data. So, here we need to take, we need to draw a line of 70 mm long for an angle of 30 degrees to HP, HP in the sense above x line, 50, 45 degree to the VP, it should be below x line, yes, yes, taking my projector and placing on the point of A, 
now i'm taking an angle of 30 degrees above x value and here it is yes similarly on the downside i am placing my protector on the point of a and i'm taking an 45 degrees here placing my scale on this angle and i'm going to draw a line for a length of 70 millimeters similarly on the downside also we need to draw a line like this i have drawn the lines now for the given length now so this is the end point of this line so let me name this point as b1 dash and let me name this point as b2 so with respect to this end points is we can able to locate the locate the locus of the lines here yes so this is the lines for locus of b dash and this is locus of b okay so you have located a preliminary front views now so with this we have okay. to draw the final front view and final top view it is very easy you need to project this point vertically downwards to the opposite side opposite locus as you see here now is projecting this line till the opposite point opposite locus i am starting from the b point the opposite point is a that to opposite side so it is locus of a up to the locus of a i need to draw it right similarly for this point of b2 it is of a b point so opposite point is a and opposite side is a dash locus we have to draw this point from, from this point to locus of a dash point okay so totally we got these two points okay so let me name this intersection points as here it is it is an extension of b1 dash so i will name this point as b1 you should not use dashes in the top view so it is b1 similarly the b2 extension line intersection can be named as b2 dash because dash should be there in the front view right it is b2 dash and that is b1 right the next the next step is to measure the distance of a dash to b2 dash as a radius and draw an arc from this b2 dash considering a dash as a radius like this yes this line should intersect with your locus of b dash point so this point this intersection point is our final front view b dash point similarly, similarly measure a to b1 as a radius and a as a center point draw an arc from this b1 point so that it is intersecting your locus of b yes, now so let this. me join these two points from a dash to b and a to this b okay and we need to calculate this a dash b dash distance and a b distance as well as alpha and beta value these values should be should we need to find out okay okay thank you all